indeed. Yes, quite. Exquisite, really. Marvelous, I'd say. This poor, tortured artist. You can truly see the struggle he's dealing with. The desperation, the tragedy, the loneliness of this piece. You can just feel the raw energy flowing into you. Oh. But the meaning. Yes, right? the meaning. It's so personal. The artist is showing us the cold, empty exoskeleton of a man whose nudity has freed itself, only leaving behind his fake facade, a mask, if you will. You see, I see it with broader strokes. It showcases the eternal rotting beauty that is nature. It not only confronts you with inevitable death, but it screams, here I am, get used to it. Yes, you would see it that way. My studies at Princeton helped me see beyond the physical dimension of the piece. My, my. You sure learned a lot at your time at Princeton. How many years did you spend there? I don't quite recall. It is quality over quantity, as they say. Well, I hope you receive plenty of quality in your one semester. One semester it may be, but the lessons are eternal. You Cornell man wouldn't understand. Cornell is celebrated for its interpretation of absurd art. No university is as important as this art piece that's in front of us. Yet you persist to debate prestige over imitation. If I recall correctly, it was you that brought up your studies at Princeton, home of the merry men. Always merry, always proud. Yes, quite proud indeed. You know, Simon, I have a new interpretation of this piece. And what is this newfound revelation, Archibald? This piece is a representation of you. And how is that? Rotten. Oh, in all my years! Oh. You must mean in all your semesters.